all right so if you guys pay attention to recent side hustles on the internet you know one of the most trending side hustles right now on tiktok and youtube is tiktok automation this has been around for literally the longest time but for some reason people are just finding out about it now and i know there's a lot of people showing you guys how you can actually do it but no one's showing you how you can actually edit these videos so that's exactly what i'm going to be doing and not only am i going to be showing you how to edit these videos i'm going to be showing you how to do it easily and for free so yeah if you guys do enjoy make sure to like comment subscribe we're so close to 100,000 subscribers but let's get right into it okay so quickly before the tutorial starts i want to quickly mention my editing packs that i have available right Right now basically i have two different tiers of editing pack we have my five dollar editing pack which is for beginners that only want to spend five dollars it's super budget friendly and it has literally everything you could ever need for fortnite montages content any other gaming montages etc there's a ton of motion graphics in there subtitle presets fortnite presets i'm gonna leave you guys a link for that but if you guys didn't see i just recently released my 2024 editing pack which is basically that pack but updated i have so much more content related stuff so if you are a youtuber and an upcoming content creator you definitely need to check that pack out one's five dollars one's ten dollars if you did buy my previous pack and you enjoyed it i definitely recommend that you take the next step and buy the ten dollar pack it's so worth it but i don't want to go on any longer if you guys want to check out the announcement video where i go over everything in the pack be sure to go check that out that'll be at the top of the description links to both packs will be at the top of the description as well let's get right into the tutorial so if you guys have watched my videos before you know that i love to use davinci resolve for literally everything because it's free easy to use beginner oriented all that stuff Stuff. So the first step of this process is actually going to be to go onto Google, look up DaVinci Resolve download, or click on the link that I'll have in the description, and you'll be able to download it for free. So once you do that, boot it up. I'll see you guys once you guys have done that. Now, now while it's booting up, I'm going to show you two different assets that you're going to need for these automation channels. The way that these videos work is they'll have some sort of interesting captivating video as the a-roll media and then they'll have the b-roll media so the a-roll media will be some sort of podcast clip you know interesting story movie clip anything like that and then the b-roll will be either you know that minecraft gameplay gta gameplay subway surfers etc so for this what we're going to do is we're going to go onto youtube and i am going to find the video that i'm going to be using so for example i'm going to look up you know suits clips season one and you know this is a very popular tv show i guess you could say and what i'm going to do is i'm going to download these videos i'm not allowed to show you how to download them but if you guys do go on YouTube and you look up how to download YouTube videos to MP4, you'll find out how to do that. So I'm going to download this. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go on YouTube and I'm going to look up GTA gameplay for TikTok, anything like this. And I'm just going to download these as well. So I'm going to have two different videos downloaded to my computer. And I'll see you guys once you guys have downloaded it too. Go on YouTube, look up how to download these. I'll see you guys once you've downloaded it inside of DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so I have downloaded both of them. I'm waiting for one of the clips to still download. So I'm just going to show you how to set up your project initially. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here to new project. I'm going to call this automation tutorial. I know there's a spelling error. It doesn't really matter. And what I'm going to do is starting off, we're going to go to the edit tab. This is where all the editing is going to be done. Go to edit. We're going to go to file project settings, change the frame rate to 60. And then we're going to make the resolution uh, set to 1080 by 1920. We're going to press save. And then what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to where our things have downloaded to. So I'm going to go to the folder right here, drag this in press don't change if it you know hits you with that prompt and this is almost done so we're just gonna wait out the countdown and just like that it has downloaded so we can see that we have these two clips we have the suits clip and then we have the gta gameplay so what i'm gonna do is since we already have our format set to 1920 or 1080 by 1920 i guess i should say because it's a tiktok format we can see we got the vertical resolution that is for tiktok now let me quickly show you how you can drag we're gonna drag in the suits clip i'm gonna delete the audio just because i don't want to risk copyright claims on this video itself the tutorial um, but what we're going to do is we're going to drag in the suits clip. We're going to drag that to the second layer and we're going to drag the GTA to the first layer. And this is how we're going to have the positioning work. We're going to just change the zoom here in the top right. This can be all done in the inspector. And we are going to do something like this. And we want it just under half the screen. You always want it to be just under, you know, kind of like 35, 40% of the screen. And then what you'll do with this is you'll drag out the ta gameplay 
you'll center it so the black bars are even on both sides and then all you got to do is just up the zoom and then just like that is good so we can see once we kind of come in a little bit we can see if we cut this down by using the blade tool by pressing b we have a perfectly lined up clip right here it literally looks perfect for TikTok. That's all you really need to do. And I don't want to go any further because I know that this could definitely risk striking my video. So we're not going to do that. But like you guys can see, this is how you do the layout. And then all you have to do is either, you know, do a little bit of color correction. And I know that color correction people kind of overlook when it comes to this kind of stuff. But trust me, if you literally go to the GTA layer and change the saturation from 50 to 70 even, and it just adds that extra little bit of brightness, or you could even go here and just change the color boost to something like 50, it's a game changer. It's crazy what it can do. Like it's like unreal. It's night and day, dude. It's honestly just having that extra saturation just catches the person's eye. And the reason that you have this layer is to, you know, kind of add that extra sense of like captivating factor, if that makes sense. Um, but all you need to do, there are two different options. You guys could either take this over to Premiere Pro and add auto subtitles. And I do have a tutorial. I'll put that up in the top right corner of the screen right now. And I'll also have it in the description for you guys to check it out. I have a tutorial on auto subtitles, so you can do that yourself for that if you do have Premiere Pro. Or what you can do if you want the free option, you just got to kind of export this over to your phone. And then you can open this in CapCut and use CapCut to do auto subtitles because CapCut does do auto subtitles. Uh, let me quickly show you how to export export it and upload it to Google Drive first though. All you gotta do, come here to the deliver tab and then what you'll do is you'll let it do its thing and you will come here to, you know, suits clip one, find wherever destination folder you wanna save it to. So I'm gonna save it to the automation folder that I had before, save, add to render queue, we render it out. And since it's such a short clip, it's instantly rendered just like that. And then we can see, we come here, it's fully rendered out just like that that's all we needed but the cool thing about davinci resolve that i will say is that if you do have a super long thing like way longer than a minute like let's say it's like four minutes long the cool thing is you can just literally have this in your timeline all at once press i to mark the endpoint. go to about just over a minute because obviously you guys probably be doing this for the creativity uh program you press o for the out points you can render this out go to your deliver tab suits clip one and then what you can do is you can come here, press I, go to the next minute, press O, and then render this as the second clip, press I here, go to O, render this as the third clip. And you can literally do this in the same timeline. So all you have to do is set it up and then you'll have four clips. That's like four days worth of po That's like four days worth of posting that you just literally got for making this simple timeline. And then you can do your auto subtitles and add your watermark. And you know, it's that simple. You just need to go over to Google Drive, go to new, go to file upload. And then what you do is you go to and you just upload that single file. So that's how you do that. I hope you guys did learn something new, but make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys are interested in the editing pack, like I mentioned in the intro, go check that out using the link at the top of the description. I got both of them linked there, the $5 pack and the $10 pack. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Best of luck with your TikTok automation, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.